Okay. okay, we should be recording. Right. Hello everyone. So welcome to Cooking at Home. So today we're going to be making cheese pinwheels. There'll be a link to this recipe on the school website. Yeah. And it's a very well balanced meal. You could have it as part of a meal because you have, it actually fits to the Eat Well Guide very well. So you have your carbohydrates in the form of the pastry. We have the fruit and vegetables with the onions, peppers, sweet corn. We have the protein. Um, you could have chicken in if you wanted to. We've got the dairy. We've got um, cheese. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So here we go. Now the pastry we're going to be using for our cheese pinwheels is puff pastry. And you can buy it either in a block or you can buy it ready rolled. It's obviously cheaper to buy it in a block, but it does mean you need to do, have a rolling pin and do a bit of rolling out. So we're going to roll out now. I've got a little bit of um, flour on the table and I'm going to try and roll it out till it's as thick as a one pound coin. So you have to think about one pound coin and how thick it is. You need to roll it out till it's about three millimetres thick. Right. Keep moving it to make sure it doesn't actually stick to the table. And it's a very good workout this is. Beginning to get to a one centimeter, uh, one pound coin thickness now. I always think it's about the size of a piece of A4 paper we're aiming at. So when you get it to that size. pepper in the middle of it there, let's move that out. The next thing you do is you take your tomato passata, Italian for sieve tomatoes, you need about a tablespoon, not a lot, put a little bit on there and then spread it out with the back of your spoon right the way to the edges. Okay then when you've done that we can put our vegetables on. So I've got some onion here, and I'm going to chop that up now, I've got some red onion and I'm going to just cut the end off, take the peel off and then remembering the claw grip I'm going to slice it nice and finely and again the pepper slicing it up nice and finely and a bit of red pepper and this is a very good way of hiding lots of vegetables so if you're making this for a younger brother or sister and they don't like vegetables you might be able to hide them in this so give it all a good mix up sprinkle over your toppings and i've got a little bit of sweet corn as well you could also add things like chicken here meat tuna fish Herbs, I'm actually going to add a little bit of a spice in mine actually. So I do like it a little bit spicy. A little bit of spice. Over the top. And the last thing I need to be adding on here is a little bit of cheese. So I've got a cheddar and red Leicester mix here. Sprinkled over the top. Right, the next thing you have to do is the rolling up. So you need to roll it up a little bit like a Swiss roll. So, I'm gonna roll it away from myself. I'm gonna just fold it like that. And then I keep on rolling, keeping it fairly tight until I have the seam on the bottom on the table. All right, I then take a knife and I saw it in the middle in half. And then I cut each half into half. and then each half of a half into half. And I should end up with eight pinwheels. Right, you then take a, a baking tray and you put your pinwheels so you look down on them. So you see all the lovely fillings in there. Spread them out on your baking tray
and then put them ready now to go into the oven and they then go into the oven at 180 for 20 minutes happy cooking okay